Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. Um, at this time, the January 4th, 2011 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee will now come to order. Um, will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Gamble is excused. Mr. Gamina is excused. Ms. Cayley? Here. And Mr. Tucciarello? Here. And Chairwoman Valerio? Here. <laughs> We have a ref. We have a ref. Okay. Anyway, uh, before we start the public forum, I do notice there's some greenery. Is, is Mr. Um, Quinn prepared to talk to us? Talk, speak to us? All right. At least I Hi. can see them now. <laughs> yep. Our plant of the month this month is going to be Crotons. Um, they're a great house plant. Can you spell that? C R O T O N. Thank you. And that's the common name, it's, but that's good enough to get you where you're going. Um, crotons like a lot of light. They, uh, they need warm temperatures. These won't do well outside if, unless you live in South Florida. Uh, these are all the same species and variety here. You can see the difference. Both, the two big plants on the end came from Lambertin Conservatory. You notice the difference in the color. The one down the end is a lot greener. That was getting a lot less sunlight than this one. They require a lot of uh, light to get good color. Uh, they're relatively easy to grow, but they don't like the cold. So if you get some cold drafts on them, they'll drop their leaves. They're actually a combination of being relatively tough and relatively sensitive. You've got to have them in a good environment with lots of light, but if you give them that and proper water, they do very well. Uh, there's hundreds of different varieties, but mostly what you see is this variety and maybe one or two other ones, particularly because they're tough and they do well in, in lower light situations. People like to have them as houseplants. Something like Lamberton Conservatory, it's optimal. The light is very good there, so it's easy to grow plants. If you want to have one for a window plant or whatever, you really need it in a, in a uh, south or a west-facing window so it gets plenty of light. Um, the other plant I actually wanted to mention, not being planted a month, but this is a witch hazel. I brought it with me from Highland Park. Cut it about a half an hour ago. It's actually in bloom right now out in the park. Uh, very fragrant. We uh, have blooms going on in the park 12 months of the year. Uh, and like I say, right now, right now, this is actually out blooming in the park. So it's, it's interesting. You can go out on the 1st of January and find something in bloom. And you can always find something that's attractive, like the Crotons in the conservatory. We always have a good show going on. Any questions on plants? So witch hazel. Witch hazel. You make a, a tincture at, by boiling it or something? Or? Um, I don't believe so. No? I, I, I'm not quite sure what the there, med medicinal... Medicinal purposes of that product area. called witch hazel. There is, but it's not the same. Oh, it's not. No. Okay. Just curious. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, let's move on now to the public forum. Is there anyone that has been signed up for the public forum? No. Okay. There being none, is there anyone present? Okay. Please come forward, Mr. Gregory. I'm only doing this to sniff the plant, so <laughs> lilacs. <laughs> Actually, it's the first item on your agenda I'd like to respond to. Um, as this, uh, everybody in this legislative body, uh, you're familiar with my background, my criminal history and that. And one of the things that I have found in the past was that education is a phenomenal manner, a way to basically pacify a person. I wouldn't say that I'm that not pacified, but the bottom line is education is a certain way of reaching to equip people to basically handle the situations that they have to deal with on a daily basis. I would strongly encourage um, more of programs like you have on number one where you have Monroe Community College going into the jails. Um, you know, I, I, as, a, as a former uh, criminal, or as a criminal, I guess, or have a conviction, I know that my, uh, I'm never going to do well economically. I'm never going to be president of the United States like I once wanted to be. But the bottom line is an education equips a person to deal with the situation at hand and handle it as best they can. Uh, I would say that in our criminal justice service, one area that we lack in terribly is to prepare people for life after offense. After release, uh, generally, we see a lot of people who are frequent flyers go back into the system. I think if we equip them with uh, knowledge and capability, they might not here again be empl even employable, but they'll have the foundation 
that they need to have to deal with the everyday crisis that at one time in their life may have got them back in the, into uh, an adjudication. So I would strongly encourage more programs like this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Okay, there being none. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have the November 30th, 2010 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Referral number two. Okay, moved by Mr. Cicciarello. Seconded by Mr. Adair, President Adair. Okay. Um, any comments or questions? Okay. There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Referral number 10 03. Moved by Mr. Tutorello, seconded by President Adair. Any questions? There being none, all those um, in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item is 10 0375. Okay, Mr. Tutorello, moved by. Um, before we um, have the question uh, period at this point, is, um, I see him. There's Mr. Staub. Did you want to speak about this, please? Uh, through you, Madam Chairman, I'd be happy to. Um, the referral before you is, um, uh, something that we've been working on for actually two years with uh, the Genesee Rowing Club um, for the development, construction, operation, and uh, maintenance of uh, boat storage building, boathouse and docks at Genesee Valley Park. Uh, this is um, a currently um, unused section of the park. It is located directly adjacent to um, the 390 Expressway flyover, um, but it's also a prime uh, location for this type of activity um, because it's where the uh, Erie Canal and the Genesee River actually meet, uh, making it very conducive for um, um, <coughs> this type of uh, boating, um, which is a uh, rowing program. Um, GRC is primarily adults um, who are very interested in uh, passing on the tradition of uh, rowing um, to uh, further generations. Um, they, current, they were over across the river um, at the Genesee Waterway Center. Um, they're currently um, temporarily um, over in Pittsford, um, but they're looking forward to having a uh, place that they can uh, store their uh, boats, that they can also um, run programs uh, for the general public um, to learn the uh, sport of uh, rowing. Um, the Genesee uh, Rowing Club would um, uh, take on the responsibility of raising the money uh, for this uh, facility and uh, its construction and uh, then gift it to the county. Um, so it would be uh, no cost to the county uh, for the facility or the construction or its maintenance and it would also be a tremendous benefit for the county um, for the uh, programs that would be offered here uh, from an educational standpoint and sporting perspective. Um, it'd also be very uh, conducive to the park as this area has become uh, pretty much a trouble spot uh, in the park and uh, it'd be a good, a good way to clean that area up. Um, so we're very excited about this program. Uh, Genesee Rowing Club um, has on hand, according to their financial statements, uh, $60,000 of the 80 and um, they uh, say that they'll be able to have that uh, remaining 20 in hand um, pending the uh, outcome of this uh, vote in the legislature. Thank you very much. Now, are there any questions? Ms. Kaler. Um, thank you, Madam Chair, through the chair. I, I did have a couple of questions on this one, uh, knowing that Genesee Valley Park is a Frederick Law Olmstead Park. And um, it was brought to my attention that there may have been 
uh, a, an agreement in the past that there would be no additional private development in the park systems that were Frederick Law Olmsted. Um, could you speak to that? Through you, Madam Chair, I'm not aware of any such agreement. Okay. Um, then through you, Madam Chair, will there be a secret done on this since it's a private development? Through you, Madam Chair, yes, and it has been completed. It has been, um, th through the Chair, it has been completed? Yes. Um, and could you give me briefly the results of the seeker? I'll let um, Dave Ronaldo, the Deputy Director of Parks, answer that. Uh, Madam Chair, through you, the uh, county conducted an environmental assessment. It was the, uh, uh, the seeker short uh, uh, form. Uh, we went through all of the, um, the impacts to the park, including the historic impacts, and um, we have sign-offs from um, uh, New York State DEC as far as wetlands, uh, the Army Corps of Engineers as far as wetlands. Um, so there's no permit authority. There's just a letter of permission required from the Army Corps of Engineers. And uh, based on that information, the um, county issued a uh, negative declaration uh, for no significant environmental impact. Thank you. Um, and through the chair, is there any uh, negative impact on the historic designation possibilities of the parkland? Uh, Madam Chair, through you, based on our review, um, that the, the historic aspects of the park really don't apply in this particular piece of land in Genesee Valley Park. Uh, the historic design has been uh, significantly compromised by the um, I-390 flyover. Um, and it's essentially uh, nothing like um, Olmstead designed or intended for that area. Um, okay, thank you. And um, through the chair, could you explain why the club moved in the first place? <clears throat> through you, Madam Chair, is my understanding that they moved to um, accommodate some school programs that were going into the uh, Genesee Waterway Center. Thank you. Um, Coming back to the historic, if I may, through the chair, if I understand then it's, it's the opinion of the county that it has no effect on the historic designation of the park or any applications that might be made going forward. Or is it? Through you, Madam not. Chair, that's correct. Um, this area of the park was first disturbed by the addition of the barge canal. Um, then it was further uh, disturbed by the addition of um, the 390 flyover. So that this area of the park, um, and we have a map here we could show you, it's directly adjacent to 390. It has no um, use in the park um, for really anything other than this. And when um, Genesee Rowing Club came to us with this idea, we were, um, uh, very excited about it because of the um, basic uh, non-use that this area of the park has seen. So to actually bring people into the park and to actually bring a positive um, use into this area of the park um, where, you know, the trees are significantly compromised by the road salt that comes off of 390. It's not an attractive place because of 390 being right there. So this will actually really enhance this area of the park. Um, right now, um, quite frankly, this area of the park is, has become a haven for man-on-man um, -man sexual activity. And um, I'm sure the Sheriff's Department's very well aware of that. And um, we would really like to have a, pos a positive use um, to put into this area of the park to uh, uh, curtail that activity. Thank you. 
Then through the chair. It has no historic, um, then there is no historic value of the, the canal and the, and the park meeting at the river there. Through you, Madam Chair, no, not a historic va um, value. That uh, canal was added after, long after Olmstead. Um, I, I would say it has a recreational um, use and this will completely mm -hmm. um, enhance that recreational use. And bring more people to discover that res recreational use. Um, thank you. Just, I do have in a different direction. Will there be? I lost it. Such views of the resources. The fee structures that are mentioned in here. No fees will be charged to the public unless approved by the county. At these fees will be associated. Will go back to the county or back to GRC? And I guess I don't quite understand the potential of a fee structure. Through you, Madam Chair, um, the fees would go back to Genesee Rowing Club. The county, though, would approve the fees, um, much like we do for other um, private operators in the park. Um, that's the county's way of, you know, being the landlord and being able to uh, make sure that, you know, the public has uh, appropriate use and that the fees are kept reasonable. Thank you. And then if, if this does in fact happen and the funding is, is completed and built, then what would be, I guess, what would be the plan, since this is slightly new, what would be the plan um, for oversight of the um, facility? Yeah. Sorry, the county, through it. you, Madam Chair, the county would retain complete oversight of the facility. Um, this facility would actually be gifted to the county and be a county facility, um, but with our contract that we would have with GRC, um, they would be completely responsible for its operation and maintenance. Thank you. That's it, thank you. Any further questions? Okay, there being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay, item carries. Referral number 10-0. By Mr. Tucciarello, seconded by President Dare. Any questions on this matter? Ms. Kalen. Just a quick one. Thank you, Madam Chair. Are there any other plans for other park facilities that are similar to this in the future? Through you, Madam Chair, we would love to um, um, obtain grants um, for other facilities um, like this. This is uh, an ideal facility to incorporate um, this type of green technology because it's currently not used uh, and it's basically sitting there vacant. So it's a blank canvas for us to go in and, and really rehab. And uh, the end result, if we're successful with this grant, it's going to be um, a thousand percent improvement to this area of the park. Um, it would uh, pay for this construction. It would be a demonstration facility for green technology. Um, the utility saving itself um, and the electricity generation would basically pay for the utilities um, and then we'd be receiving um, uh, rental uh, charges from it as well. So it's a total money maker potential for the county. It's a total educational potential for the county for green technology. Um, I don't see any downside on this and we're very hopeful that the third time's a charm in applying for this grant. This is the third time it's been before you. Um, a positive benefit is each time we have brought this, um, the state increases the amount that we can apply for. So um, this is uh, quite a hefty amount and would allow us to uh, uh, really do a lot of work over there. Um, thank you. No, I, I um, really like this. I, I just, um, can you give me an idea when you say in Webster Park on the shore, is this close there of to the White House? Yeah. If through you, Madam Chair, if you're uh, uh, standing on the road there and looking at the White House, um, it, would, road. it would be um, to the uh, uh, right. Thank you. And uh, I'm sorry, through the chair, with everything working out the way that we want it to work out, do we have a timeline? Um. 
Uh, through you, Madam Chair, I'm advised that we would probably know whether we got the grant or not um, by this summer, and we'd have two years to use the funds. Thank you. Any further questions? There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Item carries. 10-0377. Uh, Moved by President Adair, seconded by Mr. Cicciarello. Any discussion on this matter? Ms. Kaler. Just uh, a quick question, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, through the Chair, will this rehabilitation have an impact on the um, sensory garden? Through you, Madam Chair, no. The sensory garden was added um, later. Uh, it's not part of this uh, area, and the sensory garden is uh, fully maintained. And, uh, well, it was brought to my attention that it, it might be in need of some refurbishing um, through the chair. Is there any plans to do that for the sensory garden? Through you, Madam Chair, the sensory garden was a gift to the county. Um, we can certainly go back and look at it. It was just gifted to the county a few years ago. Um, and if there's some uh, minor work that needs to be done, I can't imagine that there's anything major there. Um, but that's part of what we would go back and, and look and use trust fund monies for. So there are funds in place to uh, um, make some uh, rehab, which um, if you could give me further information offline, um, we'd love to uh, know that information. Okay, thank you. I will. Any further discussion? There being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Any other items um, to be brought before this committee? Okay, there being none, uh, the January 4th, 2011 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee is scheduled for Tuesday, January 25th at 5 o'clock.